Pets and Funnies. So today, we're gonna be doing something super crazy different, and I am going to show you guys what it's like to be short. And these are some of my everyday struggles, and when I say everyday struggles, I mean I have been dealing with this for my entire life. Well, some of it for my entire life. Not like all of it, but some of it, definitely some of it. So it is no joke, wait, what, no joke? It is no secret that I am a baby height. I am only five foot or 4'11 without any shoes on. Yes, I take the five foot. Look, I'm 4'11, but five foot really when I have shoes on. I stopped growing when I was probably in the second grade and I've never hit a growth spurt. My doctor said I was supposed to be 5'6. Some people refer to short people as fun size, which is like the best thing ever because, you know, I like funness and I am a size. Fun size candy is the best. It is my favorite fun size candy. Wait, what? Fun size candy? What? I'll be your fun size Milky Way. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't think that applies. Nobody likes Milky Way. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Okay, so some of the struggles that I deal with being short, some of these aren't even struggles. Some of these are just pure awesomeness in disguise. Now, I like to think that it's all about perspective. <sighs> Let's start with the morning time. So the first struggle is getting out of bed, out of your comforter, because it always seems like your comforter just wraps around you and never ever wants to let you go. You have a comforter that just swallows you whole. That comforter just swallows you whole and you can't get out of it for the life of you. No matter what you try to do, that comforter every single morning seems like it is attacking you and does not want you to get out of bed. And you have to fight that comforter, even though you love it with all your heart. Don't let me go. Wait, what? What song am I even singing? I don't even know what song I am singing. The second struggle-ish is making your bed. If you have a big bed, I these little arms cannot do the flip and the flip and flip, the flip and the, the up and flip it. Everything lands on your bed perfectly when you're trying to make your bed. I have to go corner by corner making sure everything is perfect. I just can't just whoosh, whoosh, you know what I'm saying? Cabinets are always facing versing me. It's me against the cabinet. I don't know why, but I just cannot reach anything in the cabinets. I don't care if it's on the first level. Getting anything out of the cabinets has been an Olympic sport my entire life. I've had to be like a gymnast and use my gymnast abilities to get on the counter and get my cups and bowls. Our next one is driving. So a lot of people joke and are like, oh Buns, you know, do you need a booster seat to drive? No, I don't need a booster seat to drive. I just have to have the seat all the way up to the steering wheel where it is not safe by airbag safety recommendations. washing clothes. I don't know why. I feel like the washing machine is an adventure. Every time I do laundry, I always just somehow find myself stuck in the washing machine like I am a piece of laundry myself. I can't just get all the laundry out. I have to step on a stool and then put my entire body in to get all the laundry out. Another one you guys might know and be able to relate to is your feet not touching the ground when you're sitting in a chair. I don't know why my feet never touch the ground. And it's, sometimes it's awesome because I'll just spin myself as much as I can, but then sometimes when I'm tired of spinning and I want to stop myself, my feet don't touch for me to spin myself or to stop it. So I have to just jump off. Ow, I'm okay. Maybe these are just my problems. Alright guys, so those are some of the struggles and challenges and perks I find being short 
every single day of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and hit that sub button with your bunny paw. Also guys, let me know what you guys thought about this video. This is a video that I want to do for a really, really long time and I've just been super, super nervous about recording a video like this. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you guys thought, if you guys thought it was a good video or not. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, I think the next one I want to do is type of eaters or the way people eat. Let me know if that's something that you guys would want to see. And so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, let me know in the comments down below and hit the big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you. Mwah.